simple street Just look, you'll find your treasure And joy beyond all measure When you find your moment of luxury Today, Moment of Luxury is all about collecting. We start at Sotheby's, the oldest art auction house in the world, to demystify the art of the auction. Then we meet young designer Garo Kedigan, who collects furniture and objects from so many sources, auctions, thrift shops, and even the street, to create unusual yet livable rooms. Then we think pink. So come along to learn how to sharpen your collector's eye. But first, collecting is most enjoyable when we find a category that clicks with our passions. Let's catch up to designer and eclectic collector, Garo Kedigan, to find out his angle on collecting. I'm in this jewel box of a room designed by Garo Kedigan. Really, a guy with so much talent and I am so impressed by. Tell me about some of the pieces in here and where they came from and what their cost is. Well, good design doesn't necessarily have to be expense. Um, things like this floor lamp that we found in a thrift shop for $4. Get out. Did you hear that? $4 for the lamp, this beautiful brass lamp. And this uh, little bench that we actually found on the street. Um, we just sent it to the upholster and had it recaned. Okay, for those of you who don't live in New York, found on the street means found <laughs> on the street. One of the great little um, vignettes that I found was a piece that had fallen off of a building oh, yeah. one Saturday morning. It was a gigantic architecture. So architectural relic free. So you, we can check these things off. Okay, sure. lamp $4, <laughs> uh, beautiful little bench free, uh, architectural relic free. It is really, you've just done so many details. Describe some of the things. Now, to me, if, let's just start with the basic walls. And what have you done here? Because it really is perfect. Well, the background is perfect. Paint, paint is, is used in this space to create the sense of a jewel box. If you notice, the room had no architectural moldings originally. I wanted to find a light fixture that uh, not only contrasted the rigid lines of the wall paneling, but had some waviness to it to, to emulate the brain waves of the client coming through. This is a painting that was uh, smuggled out of, out of Russia by one of my client's grandfathers. So and perfect. has such strength. And um, when I did, when I saw this room, the minute I saw this back wall, I thought, you know, I've got to bring Mayakovsky in here. <laughs> well, it's perfect. It's perfect. All right, what's next? Well, we really wanted to try and counterbalance the Mayakovsky painting mm -hmm. on one side of the room with a dramatic uh, arrangement that climbed up onto the ceiling. And yes. really what this, the branches do is they respond back to the light fixture mm -hmm. and they climb Perfectly. the personality and the language of the, of the branches and then they relate back to the light fixture and then move your eye back to the Mayakovsky. So there's, there's a real uniformity and a movement to the, to the sight lines in the space, which is sort of an important presentation to yes. somebody coming in to see Kip's Bake. I wish you could be here and feel the texture of this room, the fragrance of the room. It really attacks all your senses and does make you feel like you're in a perfect little retreat. It's really well done. Thank you so much. I appreciate that you see all these little details. <laughs> well, there, this room is, is all about details. And I want to start with just recapping some of the great things that we can take home with us. One is we've got this plain sheetrock room that now has all this detailing. This is not faux finish. This is just a flat paint color. It's got a gloss to it, which is nice. And the molding has just been painted on. A second tip is don't be afraid to mix and match styles and sources to tell a visual story in your home. Now let's find out how Garrow's sharp eye, imagination, and collecting habits filled his small Upper East Side walk-up apartment, making it home sweet home. This was an interesting piece that I found when I was walking through after a rainstorm one day. Uh, a lightning rod had actually struck a lamp post, and lying on the grass was the finial of the lamp post. And I just thought it was just a beautiful piece. It has so much character, and it almost looks like I can see where the dent of the lightning bolt hit it on the top. It's a wonderful piece. And, you know, this is the type of thing that you can just bring home, put it on your coffee table, and it looks great. As you can see, it, it really mixes well with the things that I found off the street, um, things that I've purchased from an auction. And when you keep your eye out for something, you can always find something really special. 
These prints came to me from the Bill Blass sale, uh, and they were just wonderful pieces that came out of the Sotheby's sale from his collection, and already exhibits a lot of um, deterioration in some of the corners, so I really wanted to protect it from any future deterioration. One of the most um, interesting finds that I made was my own bed, and I found this in a penny auction in Montreal. And as a child growing up, of course, I followed every little antique flea market, whatever. And there was a an encan, which is an uh, auction in French in in northern northern Quebec, that we went to, and I bought this bed, and I literally paid twenty five dollars for this bed and this frame, and it has a wonderful, beautiful pediment on the top, and it's paneled, and it's of rosewood wood. I have used this bed, I've slept in this bed ever since I bought it about 15 years ago. Uh, we also found a wonderful garden urn sitting by the street side one day in, in many different pieces and I you know, tried to lift it myself and, and you know, frantically called a friend of mine and said, get over here please and, and, and help me get this into a cab. I you know, brought it home and I put it in the corner of my room and it really holds the entire corner of my living room. I was in a flea market in Paris and I found this wonderful old head. And um, the woman who sold it to me was impressed that she had turned it into a light fixture, but I immediately recognized it to be, um, you know, a head from antiquity. And he just had such great character, and, and I, you know, the weight of him is just unbelievable. And I knew right away that this was something really special. I'm at a point in my, in my apartment, and everybody should reach that point, where you feel very comfortable with the amount of stuff that you have in there. You can always keep your eye out for something that's fabulous and wonderful, but when you bring something new in, at a certain point, you need to, to do away with something. Um, so generally, if I find something new and I really love it and I bring it in, I come in and I say, okay, well, where am I going to put this? And I'm going to retire, you know, another piece to something else. This has been the most exciting day for me. I'm Bill Stubbs, hoping you find your moment of luxury today. For more information on anything else you've seen in today's episode, head to our website. A garden wall, a quiet talk, an angel tapestry. Just look, you'll find your treasure and joy beyond all.